Module One, Lesson Seven, Objective: Round multi-digit numbers to the thousands place using a vertical number line. Here, we're asked to round three thousand seven hundred to the nearest thousands place. As we said in the objective, we're going to be making a vertical number line. Here is the vertical number line. Since we're rounding to the nearest thousands place, we're looking to see and answering that question first. How many thousands are in 3,700? And the answer to that is there are 3 thousands in 3,700. So we're going to go ahead and mark and place two marks on our number line. And for the lower mark and that lower endpoint, we will mark it with that answer to that question, where it is again, there were 3 thousands within our number. 3,700. If we add one more thousand to three thousands, how many thousands do we have? Right, we have four thousands. So we can go ahead and mark the upper endpoint as four thousands. So our rounded number is either going to be three thousands, which is also equal to 3,000 in standard form, or 4,000. We next ask ourselves, what's halfway between 3,000s and 4,000s? What's halfway in between them? 3,500 is halfway in between them. Final thing that we'll do to be able to solve this problem is to actually place 3,700 onto this number line. And then so, 3,700 is actually more than 3,500. And then so we can go ahead and place 3,700 onto the number line. And then we answer the question, is 3,700 closer to 3,000s or is it closer to 4,000. And in this case, it is, it is closer to 4,000. And then so that's why it is that I circle that within that vertical number line. So 3,700 rounded to the nearest thousands place is 4,000. Here we have another problem. We're rounding 14,500 to the nearest thousand. Let's start by drawing that vertical number line. And then we're going to answer that question again. We're thinking about thousands. How many thousands are in 14,500? 14. Are we marking the lower or the upper end point? of our vertical number line. Right, we're marking our lower. This time I'll write the number in standard form first, and I'll also write the number as the 14 thousands. For our upper endpoint, we'll add a thousand to that, where it is that the upper endpoint is at 15 thousand then. which is written like that in standard form. Our next part is to label that midpoint and to find the midpoint between 14,000 and 15,000. Here's the halfway point in between the two. What would you label it? Right, 14,500. And then so in this case, if we were to round 14,500 to the nearest thousand, hey wait, it's right there on the midpoint. If we had 14,499, it would be closer to 14,000. Even if we had 14,000, like 178, it would round to 14,000. If we had, let's see, 14,783, 
it would be closer to 15,000 because it is beyond 14,500. In this case, we're looking at 14,500. Hey, it's in the middle. We have a rule where it is that it gets rounded up in that case to 15,000. So 14,500 rounded to the nearest thousand is 15,000. And one of the things they actually do is they actually do circle that number that you've actually rounded to. Okay, it's your turn to try. We have a new symbol right here. And this is basically just saying, hey, this is rounding this to the, and this is a rounded number that we're getting over here. In this case, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. Make sure to draw that vertical number line, marking your lower end point and upper end point, and also the midway point. Pause the video while you work out this problem. Thinking how many thousands are in this number, there's eight thousands in this number, so you should have labeled eight thousands there. The next step is to add one thousand to that, which is nine thousand. And you also could have and should have recorded these in standard form here as nine thousand in that number for that upper endpoint and eight thousand for the lower endpoint. Halfway in between eight thousand and nine thousand is what? Did you record that as 8,500? Let's think for a second. 8,100, 8,200, 8,300, 8,400, 8,500, 8,600, 8,700, 8,800, 8,900, 9,000. In this case, we also have to mark 8,200 onto our vertical number line so we can decide what this number rounds to. Tell me when to stop. Oh, did you say stop? Hopefully you did. So right around there is 8,200. So 8,200 is closer to what number? 8,000. And in some instances, what I've been doing is I will actually circle that onto that number line, really showing that that's what it is that I'm rounding that number to. Let's look at one last problem. We're going to round 6,452 to the thousands place. First, we're going to answer the question, how many thousands are in the number? There are six. So we'll label this bottom one here. 6,000 for six thousands. One more thousand than that is how it is that we label the second number, which is 7,000. And then we'll have to find the midpoint. What is the midpoint? Right, 6,500. So we'll go ahead and place the midpoint right there onto the number line. The next thing that we have to do is that we have to take a look at this number right here, which is what? Right. And we decide where to place it onto the number line. Tell me when to stop. Okay, and what is it closer to? We make sure to circle that, and then so we have this where it is that 6,452 rounded to the nearest thousands place is 6,000. So we can use a number line to help us decide how to round these numbers.